old y equals sc get collision slide y okay and I don't know why I'm redoing this because I'm usually lazy about this and then you got this these are two very similar ones so I'll just copy that so Z just change that to a Z um, and then you got VX equals zero VZ equals zero so that's done there and we are done for the win and now all we have to do here is basically say um, DB position because we did all those um, calculations and now we need to say position the object where we want him to be so um, basically if he hits something then position him before he hits something so to make sure he doesn't go through things and depending on the keys we press um, that we stated above he'll move that direction hopefully um, so SC update object we need to update Sparky's object so that the collision uh, the movement collision is always being checked as well so don't forget that um, character old Y and old Z and Z okay I think that is our movement done I do want to test this but I'm sure I've gotten at least a few errors yeah there you go so up here DB object angle oh yeah forgot to put which one this should be Y I think I'm just gonna make sure that yeah so DB object angle Y make sure you do that and then you got moving here which I did as a low caps uh, being the idiot that I am and um, DB key state I made a mistake here yeah you always gotta remember to put um, um, capital S when you're doing key state now this should be old Z another error here old Z and then you got DB position object uh, <coughs> oh yeah DB position object what do you know what I'm thinking this should be in the next here and there you go that's it so let's see if that runs yeah here we go so hopefully our movement should be working as says are falling um, if it looks a bit slow to you it's because the um, so yeah I've got backwards moving uh, right and so on forward isn't moving though so obviously I've got some sort of mistake on the 17 key pressed so we're gonna check that out quickly oh yeah stupid mistake here guys can you see that <laughs> noob mistake of the week that is anyways our forward should hopefully be working now we've got two of them there turn off insert but yeah hopefully we'll see how that goes yep <coughs> here we go this should be working now alright there we go quite nice so I can move foot backwards so yeah once again guys this is only slow because uh, I'm recording at the same time so here we go as you can see and because I copied and pasted that one I made a mistake on both so <coughs> I knew this was gonna happen that's what you get for copying and pasting anyways so we should have everything now <coughs> So move that. So I'm moving always, and as you can see, sprints. Uh, I can't jump yet. That's the only part of the controls I can't do yet. As you can see, I can move. I'm getting really low frames, by the way, guys, because I'm recording. <coughs> I usually record this independently, so it doesn't really cause frame drop. But um, anyways, so this is it. So far, we got movement going, camera, you know, moving up and down, so on. Got no clip going. If I go into no clip, here we go. Can move fine go back in the control mode by pressing F1 okay that's it this is what we got so far guys so <coughs> we got our movement working um, what else are we gonna do now let me think the best bit to do now um, so I think the next bit we can do is um, maybe add our gun okay yeah let's add our gun so I'm gonna call this um, <coughs> I don't think we've loaded our weapon yet, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, I gotta load the weapon now. <coughs> so load weapons. A new function called load weapons. I wanna put that above our um, loop function, so put it here, why not? Void load weapons. Um, <coughs> okay, so in load weapons, first thing we're going to do is so db load object, object, and we're going to load our weapon, which is an M4. <coughs> we're 
weapons try and speed up the pace otherwise we'll be here all day but dot dbl <coughs> So that's that, um, and we want to store that at main weapon. I don't know if I declared this up there, but no, I didn't. So int main weapon, you should do the same there, equals 4, okay? Because at the moment we're only going to have one weapon for this tutorial, and that's it, so. Okay, so db scale object. Now, so I'll just put it in anyway, it doesn't matter. Main weapon, just following what I did in my previous one, that's why I'm doing this but you know up to you if you have any problems with it then do that but I don't think you will <coughs> so int m4 bullet equals 20 now we're saying there's going to be 20 bullets okay so so then you go bullet graphic now this is the bullet that's going to come out the gun so we're loading our bullets here we've loaded the weapon now we're going to handle the the bullet equals 20 so there's that um, and then you go db load object just like we did here except we do it for the bullet instead so that will be weapons bullet dbo and then we want to store that bullet which we got to declare at the top is five so i think it's five we declare as it's going to make sure <coughs> so five bullet yeah bullet is five so int bullet int bullet equals five so <coughs> now we need a for loop, so for int i equals zero, i is smaller than twenty because there's twenty bullets that we want to load. Now the reason for this is because <coughs> it's an assault rifle; and it's going to fire a lot of bullets at once. So we want to keep reusing the same bullets to do damage. And by the time the twentieth bullet has been shot, uh, by the time yeah that one has been shot, then um, all the for example, the first and the second are pretty much gone. That's why you can reuse them. So they'll never all be in the same kind of range, like near each other. So that's good. And for um, now, we do a while loop here, all right? Um, to check out the the object exists now. Yeah. Now this function finds out if there's a free object, right? So if those objects hasn't been used, haven't been used yet, then um, it basically uses one of them. So m4, m4 bullet, plus plus. So we find our free object, and then we use that free object to make our bullet. So db make object sphere. All right. So sphere, the bullet we loaded is the bullet that we're going to show the player. All right. But the one we're actually going to use to hit the enemy is a sphere and now this is going to leave the center of the camera that's why <coughs> that's why we're doing this so and then you do three in size okay and we're going to use this in a minute to uh, set up an object and then we'll um, and we'll use it to collide against the enemies later on so now this is pretty much the same so we found out free one and then we do it again for the bullet graphic so it keeps looking for free object spaces and then what we do here because we've got the that'll be bullet graphic there it's not graphics I made a mistake here guys so bullet graphic once again I do it and then you do db clone object now this is a function that's used to clone um, to make an object out of another without going through all the trouble of loading it again so uh, bullet graphic and you so what we're copying is we're copying this uh, bullet into bullet graphics so we're putting all the um, visible bullets into the array as well so now this is the 2D array I don't think I declared it at the top but basically we need to do one so, so basically here um, we're declaring the 2D array by the way um, for those of you not comfortable with a 2D array um, they're a little bit complicated for people just starting out um, I mean I'm not that I haven't been that comfortable with them for too long but Basically, uh, 2D arrays are used to, um, they use like, um, I think of them as shelves, so you have your initial, you have your initial element, like you would in a normal array, and then you have a row for that element, and then each right side of the, um, of the array is, is a row, okay, so you have row 0 all the way to row 4, okay, in this case, and each of them you can fit 20 elements, so, just, I'm sure, 
I'm sure that if you copy this, you'll you'll understand. So in bullets, so we're doing an array there. <coughs> yeah, so bullets I because it's a for loop, we're gonna make the most of this zero. So the only reason why we're doing this, we're storing the bullets here because um, we want to use them later on, and we want to know where they are. So this loads the first one loads the bullet, um, and then I'm just gonna copy these, and then the second one will load the bullet graphic. So this loads the actual bullet that we're gonna see flying out the weapon. <coughs> And then you got the third one. Now this defines if the bullet is alive or not. So once the bullet has been around for a while, we don't want to keep flying constantly, constantly. We want to get rid of it. So once, um, once it's been around for quite a bit, then we get rid of it, and it stops being updated. So this will cause less strain on your system. And then DB timer. Now this one will be used to store how much life the bullet has. Okay. Well, no, this will check how much it has. And then four here, we used to s to define how long do we want that bullet to live. So we want 800 milliseconds. So once bullet three hits 800 milliseconds, we're going to get rid of the get rid of the visual bullet and the actual other one. So <coughs> and then what we want to do here, DB hide object, because initially we want to hide the bullets. Um, we're going to hide the bullet so that we can show it when we want to. And then your DB hide. Well, I'll just copy that again. <coughs> okay, so um, and you hide the hide both the graphic bullets. Well, the graphic and the other one, sorry. And then you want to set up the first bullet, the sphere that is, as an object that we're going to use for collision later on uh, when we're firing the weapon. So set up object bullets. Um, I zero. And you go zero comma one. <coughs> so we're defining it as a sphere here. We're making a like a like a box, not a box, but we're making a. Um, it's like a wrapper. It sets a wrapper of a sphere around the actual object, so that it checks collision against. Um, we'll check against the enemies, and maybe if it hits something, maybe stop the bullet there as well. So we'll find that out. Um, <coughs> and then we want to load the gun sounds. So this is the sounds that are going to happen when we press the, when we click the weapon or whatever. So sounds folder, and we got M4A1 shot dot wave. Now this will be the normal shot, and we store it as gunshot. We're going to have to s to find that variable above there, but basically that's that. And then we're going to load another sound. Just going to copy that because it's almost everything the same. And then we're going to call this M4 click. Now this will be the sound that the weapon does when it's empty, okay? Because you, you know you want one of those as well. Um, and four click dot wave, okay? And now we're just going to find these above. Um, just finding out, yeah. So, so we define these as, as one and two. So we're going to define them here. So int gun shot equals one, and int because because objects and sounds obviously in images and all that are different you can always call them the same item number uh, equals two there we go that's that so we've got our sounds and everything loaded um, now what we want to do is okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the um, so just gonna go into here we're gonna do the actual gun shooting now uh, actually I'm just gonna make sure I didn't make any mistakes there yeah I did <coughs> 